One, one of the biggest commodities of our times is our ability to exchange information online in a secure way. So we don't even think about it, but every time that we send an email, that we log into our social media or our bank accounts, we are relying on encryption and cryptography to protect us. So basically, the internet would not be the same place if we would not have encryption and cryptography. So now here's the problem. Current encryption technologies have limitations, and this creates vulnerabilities in face of new and emerging technologies, such as quantum computing. There are major efforts worldwide to come up with better and improved solutions to these threats, but there is in particular one of those efforts that is particu particularly interesting because it can solve the encryption problem forever. It was proposed for the first time more than 100 years ago, but we have not been able to deploy it in our massive internet infrastructure because we didn't have the technology to do so. And long story short, we would need devices and technology to generate and methods to distribute very high quality random numbers over the internet. My name is Carlos Avellan and I'm a co-founder and the CEO of QSight, a startup in Barcelona. And at QSight, we are producing Cupic, which is a millimeter square device that's capable of producing billions of random numbers per second with a quality that is guaranteed by the laws of quantum physics. We've been developing this technology for years at, at, uh, at, at ICFO, which is a renowned institute in the science of photonics and quantum technologies. And after we span out, we are now focused on consolidating the supply chain, so making sure we can produce this at the scale that is required, and working with first customers that are already integrating our first batch of quantum components to develop a next generation of products and services with future proven encryption guarantees. So basically, at QSide, we have a very simple objective. We want to make sure that tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and in 10 years' time, when we have all these IoT devices talking to each other, cars driving on our behalf, we can still rely on encryption as a commodity. Thank you.